comes down to this. Who lets that scrutiny break them? And who just keeps making art? And I saw your face, all I can say is it was intuitively thinking. You were like, fun though, you were dancing around and doing you're dancing. Yeah, your but Get an exclusive glimpse into Taylor Swift's workout routine during her Eras tour. Join us as we uncover the fitness secrets behind the transformation of this iconic singer and dancer. Taylor's talents, pop culture phenomenon, champion of friendship bracelets, and iconic star of the groundbreaking Eras tour, Taylor Swift is unimpeachable proof that willpower begets success. Ask anyone who has watched her meteoric rise to superstardom, and they will tell you that there is nothing that Taylor Swift cannot do, including her grueling heiress tour workout routine that marries cardio with karaoke. When news first broke of Taylor Swift's record-smashing heiress tour, Swifties the world over reveled in joy, then just as quickly devolved into a state of panic for their idol's well-being. For the uninitiated, each show is scheduled to run for 3 hours and 15 minutes, during which the singer performs a set list comprising 44 songs. Add onto that the physical exertions of dancing, and you're looking at an intense workout routine that would turn anyone's limbs to jelly. Undeterred by this, the one and only Taylor Swift has soldiered on, fighting in the great war that is her high-stress workout routine to give fans an heiress tour to remember. How Taylor Swift got started on her Eras Tour workout routine. Beyond the sheer magnitude of Swift's global celebrity, the Eras Tour has been nothing short of spectacular, garnering respect from Swifties and casual listeners alike. Even non-listeners and those who scoff at her penchant for writing about her exes must agree. To perform on stage with the fervor that Swift has displayed night after arduous night is to attain icon status forever enshrined amongst the musical greats. And while Swift's physique has always been lithe, to attribute her stamina to mere genetics would be to do her hard work a disservice. To prepare herself for the impending stress of her high-octane performances, Swift began training six months prior to the first Eras Tour show, which was held in Glendale, Arizona. Prior to that performance, Swift and her team hunkered down on location, spending almost a full month running the show several times a week enough to get every minute detail down to a precise science. Speaking to Time Magazine on her preparations for the Eras tour, Swift shared candidly that she used to behave like a frat guy on tour, paying little heed to her health. This go around, the singer adopted a fresh mindset, taking into account the physical, mental, and emotional strain that often accompanied life on tour. I knew this tour was harder than anything I'd ever done before by a long shot, she shared, continuing, I finally, for the very first time, physically prepared correctly. Given the extraordinary performances she has put on thus far, it is clear to see that Taylor Swift has mastered the grueling era's tour workout routine, channeling both strength and stamina in spades to great success. And if you're in want of some strength, stamina, and vocal training, this high-impact and slightly unconventional workout routine may be just the one for you. What Taylor Swift's Eras Tour workout routine entails. Number one, cardio with a side of karaoke. While this may be unconventional as far as cardio workouts go, it's not nearly as strange as it sounds. To prepare her body and lungs for the Eras Tour, Taylor Swift spent hours on the treadmill every day belting out the set list to the Eras Tour. Fast for fast songs and a jog or a fast walk for slow songs, she shared. While she has certainly inspired thousands of Swifties to try the same, Swift isn't the first singer who has engaged in this specific workout. Singers Lizzo and Miley Cyrus have also belted out songs from the high-speed tracks of their treadmills. Number two, engaging the muscles. As part of her Eras Tour preparations, Taylor Swift followed up her treadmill karaoke with sessions at the celebrity-favored Dog Pound Gym, where she engaged in a specially created workout routine that included elements of strength, conditioning, and weights. Consistency proved to be key in maintaining her physique and stamina. Swift continued to work out between tour dates, showcasing dedication and determination to perform at the highest level possible. Number three, sobering up. Further proving her dedication to the success of the Eras Tour, Swift gave up drinking alcohol entirely. I was really disciplined about drinking, she shared. I stopped drinking for a couple months before the show, except for on Grammy night, which was hilarious. I gave myself a fun night for that one. Following that one night of freedom, Swift went straight back to the grind, keeping up with practice to stay in top form. 
I know I'm not drinking on tour. I know I'm working out in between shows. I know I'm keeping my strength and stamina up. I know I'm going on that stage whether I'm sick, injured, heartbroken, uncomfortable, or stressed, she added. As it goes, Swift's distaste for disappointing her fans runs deep. That's part of my identity as a human being now. If someone buys a ticket to my show, I'm going to play it unless we have some sort of force majeure. Number four, dancing the night away. To keep up with the choreography of the Eras Tour acts, Taylor Swift engaged dance coach Mandy Moore, not the singer, over three months of dancing lessons. Moore was highly recommended, having previously worked with Emma Stone for La La Land. I've known her since we were 17, and I told her all about the tour. I'm always bouncing ideas off my friends, Swift shared. I wanted it to show people so many different types of dance and performance. M said, Mandy's your girl. While Swift isn't shy about admitting that choreography is not her strongest suit, Moore helped her to change her relationship with dancing. And for the Eras tour, which required a great deal of it, the help was God sent. I wanted to get it in my bones, Swift added. I wanted to be so over-rehearsed that I could be silly with the fans and not lose my train of thought. Number five, remembering to rest. Spending three hours dancing in high heels is no small feat and certainly one deserving of rest immediately after. To this end, Swift is careful to assign a dead day for recovery in between the legs of her tour, an act of self-care she deems necessary for continued excellence. I do not leave my bed except to get food and take it back to my bed and eat it there, she said, a relatable queen in every way. It's a dream scenario. I can barely speak because I've been singing for three shows straight. Every time I take a step, my feet go crunch, crunch, crunch from dancing in heels, but it's the most fulfilled I've ever felt. Moving on, let's quickly talk about the Eras Tour that has made Swift work out so hard every day. The Eras Tour. During her promotional appearances on talk shows, like The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and The Graham Norton Show in October 2022, Swift tantalized fans with hints of an upcoming tour. Then, on November 1st, the big reveal came. On Good Morning America and across her social media platforms, the Eras Tour was announced. Swift described it as a journey through the musical eras of her career. The tour was set to kick off in March 2023 in Glendale, Arizona, and conclude in August 2023 in Inglewood, California. Opening acts included Paramore, Haim, Phoebe Bridgers, Bea Doobie, Girl in Red, Muna, Gail, Gracie Abrams, and Owen, with each pair sharing a tour date. The tour's promoter was Messina Touring Group, partnered with Ann Schutz Entertainment Group, AEG. The announcement sent shockwaves through the fan base, prompting Swift to add more shows due to popular demand. Eventually, the tour expanded to 52 shows, making it her most extensive U.S. tour to date. Billboard hailed the announcement as the most chaotic of the decade. While discussions with cryptocurrency exchange company FTX for a sponsorship deal worth $100 million didn't materialize, tour merchandise inspired by Swift's 10 album eras became available for purchase on her website. As the tour progressed, Swift kept adding dates and locations. Additional legs were announced for the US, Latin America, Asia, Australia, and Europe. Notably, the Latin American leg featured Sabrina Carpenter as the opening act, with additional shows added in response to overwhelming demand. Lauda joined as an opening act for the Buenos Aires show. In Europe, Paramore was announced as the opening act for the leg, adding to the tour's star power. The tour's popularity continued to soar into 2024, with more shows added across various regions. In Madrid, the demand was so extraordinary that a second show was added after Real Madrid requested La Liga to reschedule their match. The Eras Tour became not just a concert series, but a cultural phenomenon, showcasing Swift's enduring appeal and influence across the globe, which is set to conclude on December 8, 2024 in Vancouver, Canada.